Okay, what we have here is a transport additive injection system uh, at a customer's installation. Uh, that's the unit on the wall, obviously. And there's the uh, additive pump. We use a Viking uh, positive displacement pump. Uh, you can see next to it we've got the FPP oval gear meter. And it's piped in actually to two different additives in this case. I know we're going to have a little bit of cross contamination, but the customer was fine with that. Um, both of those hoses come up to the totes. They've got a tote of additive, and the other additive is coming out of a drum. Um, so they just open the one they want to put in the lines. Uh, to actually operate the system, press any key to begin. It'll uh, ask you for your account number in this case, uh, which I've set up a test account, and then a PIN number, again just a test number. Now we have created an option here of dispensing into tanks obviously, but also a jug fill because they use this to fill two and a half gallon jugs that they use uh, at other locations. So if we want to fill a jug we press N. In this case we're going to put some into the tank, so we'll press Y. Now we ask for how much fuel is being delivered. We'll say we're going to deliver 2,000 gallons. And then it'll ask which tank. Now we've got a selector switch here, and I'm going to say put it in tank 5. And it's going to ask me, it can tell the switch is not in position 5. So it wants me to turn the switch to 5, and it will proceed. And it asks me which of the two additives we're putting in so it knows the correct blend ratio. I'm going to say the first one. Now it shows me uh, what it's calculated that it needs. That's going to put in the tank. And it press yes to begin. So I'm not going to press yes in this case. I'm going to press no to cancel it. And then it goes to the beginning again. If you press no at any point, it totally aborts. But it can tell which position the switch is in. And I'll just show you from the pump going through the meter we have a calibration port down there coming around following the piping and then it goes out to all the transport lines and at each transport line that they want to additize they've got an injection point drilled and tapped quarter inch with the ball valve a check valve and a solenoid valve so the the injection system opens the correct solenoid valve to match the tank number they said they're going to deliver into so it runs the pump opens the solenoid valve meters the right amount of additive and then it's done all of the transactions are recorded in the system onto a flash drive so you've, you've got the identification of who delivered it how much they delivered what additive they put in, you've got date and time, and uh, it also c records how accurate it was. So if it said it needed two gallons and it only put a gallon and a half, it shows on the on the flash drive that it was only say 80 percent accurate or whatever that is, 75 percent. So that's the all-line transport injection system. We can expand it up to however many transport lines you wish to use, uh, however many additives. Um, pump should last a long time. Viking explosion proof motor with a pump. We've got a pressure regulator on there. And um, that's it.